In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily manually align your files using PicsInsight. So this can be useful if, for example, you only have like two or three files to align and you are getting some errors and you can't really figure out what the issue is. So if you are on the brink of giving up, uh, you can, if you want, uh, manually align your files. So obviously it's a bit too annoying if you have like a thousand files, but it's actually a pretty smart process which uh, after a few stars uh, manually matched, you will see it will automatically uh, find the rest and be able to um, align. So here, what I will do is uh, I'm going to go to process, all processes, and look for dynamic alignment. By the way, I just recorded this video uh, five minutes ago, but I used two files that were a bit too similar. So the result was way too easy to achieve. So here I actually decided to do it all over again and use uh, two completely different files. This was taken with a RASA. This was taken with a smart telescope. And as you can see, both have different field of views and different angles. So it is much, much more uh, tricky technically to align these two than it was with my previous files. So this is a better example, I think, uh, for you. The first thing I have to do is, of course, to flip this Raza image because the Raza uh, pictures are flipped due to the mirrors. I'm going to quickly flip that. And now we have a result that should match this one uh, in terms of angle if we rotate this file. So I'm just trying to figure out where the rotation should be, left or right. Let's try left uh, really quick. Oop, I actually have to close this for a second. Let's try left and let's zoom in so the view matches this one. Okay, and it seems like I'm trying to locate two, one star that I see. Okay, I think it's the other way around, so I'm going to rotate like that and yes i think i got it so the center star here on the left we have one nearby star and on the right we have a, a much farther star all right so now what we'll do is go to once again process and look for dynamic alignment and here we have two windows which we want to have visible at all times okay and the first thing it's going to want us to do is to click on the first image. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just select the Smart Telescope uh, file as the first image. As you can see, the square says one. So I click once. And then I'm supposed to click on the second image. So as you can see, the square right now is just a cross, so it's nothing. But if I go in my second file here, it becomes a two. So I'm going to click on that. And now our left square is the first image. And our second square is the second image. So aligning manually is simple, but of course you have to know how to do it at least once. This is why I'm making this video, uh, because if you don't uh, learn first, you'll get very confused. So what we'll do here is simply click on a star. So we'll click on the center star, for example, on the left image. As you can see, it appears here. And now I want to match this star with the second file. So on the second file, um, if you click, nothing really happens. This is because every time you click on the left file, it's going to guess where the star is on the second file. Since in this case, the field of view was so different and same for the angle, there is no way that it can guess where it is. So it's probably somewhere random. And if we unzoom, oh, as you can see, it's completely off the edge here. So I'm going to click on that and drag it. Now try to place this on the same star. So obviously it's very simple in this case, it's a center star. I might have to zoom a bit here. Oh, actually, no, it was able to uh, use like magnetic uh, features to uh, go on the star. So yeah, if you place it next to it, it will automatically center itself on the nearest uh, bright star. So you don't have to zoom in every time and be super precise. All right, we'll continue with the second star and we'll have to do this until the program is able to guess where the next star should go. So here we'll do maybe this one here, which is next to this, these two stars. And if I can't find it here, so the program thinks that it's right on the bottom right here, but I know it's not for sure. Oh, I see the two stars here, so it should be this one, I think, yeah. So I click on the point and drag it to this star. Now it appears here. 
Let's go ahead and do a third point. You can go wider if you want. Uh, let's try to see here if we have one here. That means this one is this one here, this one here. Okay, we have three stars here. Let's do the brighter one. And oh, as you can see here, it was able to guess. So now this is correct. And if we do a fourth star at random, let's say this one here, let's see if it guesses right as well. And yes, it was able to guess as well. So now wherever you click on the left image, it should automatically know where it is on the second image. So this means that it is now ready to align. So I'll click on execute here. And by default, it uses the first image as the reference file. And if we stretch, there we go. Now I can go and check if it is indeed properly aligned. And yes, as you can see, the stars match. And so yeah, if you want a different reference image, uh, just select the your main image as the first one. Uh, in this case, as an example, I just picked the Smart Telescope one as uh, an example at random. But of course, if you care about which one is your reference image, make sure you put that as a first file. So this is how you manually align. Uh, you can then close that. My result is here. And now I have two aligned files. So I hope this was useful for you and uh, clear skies. The Galactic Course Processing Bundle gives you easy to follow processing guides for all types of targets. Nebulae, galaxies, comets, Milky Way, star trails, smart telescope data, all in one place. Each one walks you through the exact steps to follow to go from raw image to amazing final result with videos, detailed text, practice data so you can follow along, custom process icons, and more. You also get access to the Galactic Launch Forum and Discord to ask questions and get feedback at any time. The Galactic course is designed with learning in mind. No fluff, no annoying music, just clear teaching to make you the best astrophotographer you can be. Take a look at the bundle now, which includes all processing guides and bonus content. Link in the description.